Right now at 5.30, the deadly fire at a Bronx high-rise has raised concerns about the use of space heaters. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. With the bone-chilling temperatures and not enough heat in some apartment buildings, many people are left with few other options. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas explains. The ice box. This is like a freezer box in here. Carol George is talking about her bedroom. At night, I plug in this electric heater and the bed so let it warm. A heated blanket. A heated blanket. Mm -hmm. And then I would put my heater on. Your space heater. Space heater. George says her Bronx apartment building turns the radiators on and off sporadically, often forcing her to seek other ways to stay warm. If you can see, I tape them up myself. To keep the draft out, she taped plastic and Red Cross blankets to the window. We are freezing. We are humans. Okay, even the animals get better treatment than some of us that are tenant. George is not alone. In this map, dark red indicates more than 20% of households using supplemental heating in their homes in 2017, with a concentration in northern Manhattan and the Bronx. And unfortunately, in New York City and many other places, tenants need to enforce their own rights. From October 1st to May 31st, when outside temperatures dip, landlords are required to keep the temperatures inside at 68 degrees during the day and 62 degrees at night. Call 311 not just once, call them more than once. Call them on cold days. I keep them down, put them down the date I call. Carol George documents her numerous calls to 311. Still, she says nothing has changed. So when investigating the fire at Twin Parks Northwest. We have to address both the immediate and the deeper causes of the fire. The investigation cannot stop at answering if a space heater was to blame, but also question if residents had any other choice. In the Melrose section of the Bronx, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. The city is aware of the complaints at Carol George's apartment complex and has issued management an order to repair according to its website. Our calls to management's office, though, were not returned.